Good afternoon, everybody. I think today I'll be making a number of videos. Um, one, I'd like to talk about is the fact that I see these videos out there, street preachers and so forth, and not, and they don't go to just one event. It's not just the gay pride parade uh, or standing at the Catholic church. They're everywhere. And I was listening to one woman and she was so angry and I think we have to understand it's not because someone is telling you or bringing you the gospel that is making you angry because some people bring it without yelling and screaming or holding up big signs or anything but here's the thing people are broken they're angry and broken because they've been lied to. And that's the problem. They're angry. And, and, and I get it. We all go through things. You know, I don't know. I, off the top of my head, I really don't know any born-again Christians that were not broken. And who had not gone through a struggle. So... I'm not saying that there some born again Christians were always grew up in the faith and then they just, you know, kind of already was there. And that's cool and that's great and everything, but there are people who are just broken and they're angry because they've been lied to. You know, not just by TV, not by just the movies and the books they have forced to read in school and so forth, which I'll get into that in another video. But even by certain churches who claim to be born again and some that just claim to be Christians which is false and it makes it much harder for guys like myself and women out there who, who, who tried to bring the gospel to other women who are trying to show you what the book actually says as opposed to what people say it says and those are two different things so I guess this is two other born again Christians along with everybody realize that people are angry because they're broken and they're lied to and that's why they go to something else you know they always feel like this the grass is greener on the other side and sometimes it appears that way but not always it's just not always you know that's it's it's like those people who dress really nice on the outside and once you get to know them, they're empty inside. And that's the same thing. The grass is not always greener. You know, all those lies of happiness. Because happiness is when you pass on. There is happiness. But becoming a born-again Christian doesn't mean all of a sudden troubles go away. And that really bothers me when people sell that and say, Oh, once you accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, your life is just amazing after that. Well, in one way it is. There, It is an amazing life. But they never tell you that, by the way, you still will have to pay bills. And you still will have troubles. Your work won't always be easy. There'll be tough days in there. But you'll be able to deal with it better in the long run because of who you are and, and the way you will now live. You're a changed person. So just remember out there, you know, people aren't always angry at you. They're angry because they're broken and they're hurt and they've been lied to and treated very badly in, in some horrific ways and some in just uh, um, spiritual ways. And it's, I just wanna make a video on that. Just just be aware, aware of people. They're not angry at you all the time. They might tell you to go blank yourself, but they're not always angry at you. There's things in their lives that they're angry about. I appreciate you tuning in this video, and God bless, and have a beautiful afternoon.